So after missing out on shorting knots coming from this area, and the reason why I think it worth shorting from that area is because after the ride up to this level, then it goes down slowly to this point, and this over here is supposed to push it up, break as in after breaking this area, the test is what's supposed to nest and then push up above this level. But that doesn't happen. It ended up giving us something like head and shoulders, and after the head and shoulders, we also this is see this trend line that later got broken, and after that it goes down this much which uh, I missed out because I went for a layer mate instead of uh, me staying with my chat. But then, you know what they say, opportunity comes but once, but when it comes to the market, it comes multiple times, but it might not be in the same uh, the same value or the same area or whatever it is, so it will come in another version. And what I'm saying currently is that after this drop, I expect it to go up to this level, but that doesn't happen. So I expect it to also go to this, either retest this area too, but that doesn't also, that also doesn't happen then. We see the market play along in this channel and later break it down even break this also break the, this uh our horizontal ray also down as well and then what i'm expecting now is that um, i expect not going to retest that and then push down to this level and if the market supports it more it will get to this level probably play around here then push down to that level so that is what i'm expecting in the not coin market and also don't forget that people that log their not coin they got more reward and they are probably going to expect to gain more because of the time that they lock it for so they expect to get more uh, more in terms of price but markets always have a way of balancing things so instead of them getting both to gain in both uh, more reward and also in more price the market have to balance it so even if they are going to get more money it's not going to be as much as they think in their mind so now another thing that makes me believe that this area is very very important like this area is very very important is that if we plot our fib retracement from the very low over there where the break started from the low that happened before the break that that break over here so that's where we bring it from if we plot a fib retracement there you can see that the area that we have our golden zone at is exactly that zone that uh above the above the support area also and for that we are expecting that the market get down to 0 0.01 so the north coin is going to 0 0.01 so that's it basically and if anything happened that it have to push back up then it will be pushing back to retest this this trend line and that is something that i don't think is going to happen but nothing is impossible when it comes to the uh, trading industry so if that is not my probably test here go back up to test here then push down to this area or probably just push straight downward like that so that is another thing so if i'm going to take this trade what i'm going to do is that my first take profit is going to be on this area somewhere around somewhere close to this support level is where my first take profit is going to be and my second take profit is going to be around there so another thing i can do is that if i take the profit here if i see a sign that is going and push back into this uh our resistance because this is now a resistance because market have already break it down then if the market later break it up then i'm going to close the whole trade and find another entry somewhere around there and then wait for it to push down more to this uh, 71 uh percent speed level so that's it guys so let's anticipate the move and uh, take profit and uh, protect yourself always